Christina Wigelius from Finland, who was uh, in first place after the figures, as she usually is, then suffers in the short program, but she did hold on to a tie for second place. She's currently tied uh, in second place with Rosalind Sumners from the United States. The question is, can she hold on in this four-minute free skating portion? And this is where she usually has difficulty. She's capable of it. Like there, for example. And she has another one right here. Those are two difficult jumps right off the bat. She's off to a good start. Christina has the advantage over the other skaters here in that she has been to five world championships. And the Finnish champion six times. Triple jump, triple south half. She did a double though. <laughs> see right there in the close-up before that she's spinning on one spot and we bring that to your attention because it's very important that a spin does not travel across the ice but stays on one spot and is centered. Even though Christina has a lot of international experience, the highest she's ever rated internationally was in Skate Canada here in 1978 and again in Skate America just recently in Lake Placid. But we've seen her plummet from first to second place after figures a short program all the way down to eighth and ninth. But you've trained with her, Lynn, and she is capable of doing those triples, but often has difficulty in making them finish. Yeah, I always thought of Tinti as a very consistent skater. And I don't know, maybe with the years, as you get older, I think your nerves get a little bit worse, and maybe she feels the pressure from being on top. When I was there, she wasn't on top. Christina Wigelius from Finland. Don, she seemed to have skated with some caution for some reason or another, maybe because of pressure, but at the very beginning of her program, she really let loose with these two double axles. Here's a split jump, half loop. This is a combination. These are not the double axles at the beginning of the program. This is a combination of jumps ending with the double flip jump. Another combination that was done very well by Christina. 
Well, I think one of the reasons why she might have been cautious is because she went into sixth place after the short program, and I saw her out in the hallway yesterday, and I never saw such a deflated person in my life. She really felt terrible. Well, she was going for a first place here, along with some of the other girls, of course, and when she fell so far behind, uh, she you get a kind of a negative feeling even for yourself, Lynn, as I we watch this layback spin here. Oh. I think Christina's looking forward, actually, to the World Championships in Finland, her home country this year. And it's more disappointing when she doesn't do well here because she wants to do well in one, Finland at Worlds this year. Judge number two, five point two. Judge number three, March for technical one, merit, judge four, and they've obviously judge number five, five point taken five, away from her because six, of the flare that zero, wasn't there, seven, and they range her march from four point nine to five point two and three. And I think. Uh, I guess she pressure. paid for it with her caution, Lynn. Yes. Uh, technically, she doesn't have the difficult moves that the other skaters have. She doesn't didn't do any triples Judge in this program, one, which she's capable four. of doing. Judge it's just two, I don't Judge know what three, happened. Five, well, in her presentation, four, the uh, artistic five, impression, four. the remarks Judge ranging five, all the way up to a 5.6. And that comes three. from the, uh, the seven, Swiss judge. So it ranges 5.2 to a 5.6.